salt water runs through the veins of the grandmother's side had Nantucket whalers, uh, merchant marines, and uh, my father's a lobsterman, so I spent most of my childhood running around uh, on the deck of a lobster boat, paying for the boating toys. I spent uh, a lot of money as a kid on boats and uh, turned into a job, went to uh, Marine Mechanics Institute in Orlando, Florida, and learned the mechanical side of rigging and repairing engines, uh, diagnosing, setup, and uh, stayed in the marine business for 10 years, wrenching on boats and uh, servicing systems anywhere from 14 to 65 feet, and uh, got more into uh, the performance side of it, learning about the the hull technologies and engine technologies, bigger stern drive product, uh, and more recently the higher horsepower outboard product. And uh, eventually, uh, through this high performance dealer, learned how to weld and uh, turn that into a repair and fabrication business, which was another 10 year process of uh, getting more onto the uh, stainless and aluminum side of the boat where you end up with ex not only accessories but structural components of the boat. Uh, a lot of times wood, fiberglass, or even composite is just not enough to, to do the job. So I had taken my skills from all of these different branches and kind of put them all into one thing that's been a long time coming and assembling an entire boat. This, this boat is as loaded as it could be for a 20 footer. Uh, we've got everything from a power assisted uh, pop out cooler to uh, synthetic decking uh, from Plazdeck. It's made in America and it actually uh, integrated a rare earth mineral to have a glow in the dark deck. Uh, Lumatech LED lights, Sea uh, Star hydraulic steering with a recessed helm. We've got uh, a brand new Yamaha product, which is their, their F-150. One of the new products is a LED push button on off switches, which are blue when they're powered up and turn red when they're on. And the label is actually a 3M logo that allowed you to have visibility at night to identify your switches. Uh, it's got an automatic manual bilge pump system. That is a 24 hour system so that if you're on a mooring you can leave that on auto and uh, worst case scenario that thing's gonna have power to it at, uh, when it needs it for as long as it needs it. Uh, there's a Freeman deck hatch for access. Uh, again, the best of the best. Uh, commercial style hatch in a pleasure boat. If you want to be able to seat passengers in the front of the console, it's the same width as the console. If you remove it from the leaning post, you can move it up forward and it sits on four rubber pucks to prevent it from moving around and uh, keeps everything uh, versatile, which again, 20 foot boat space is key. Uh, in this 20, we went with a tempered glass windscreen. Uh, reason for that being is any uh, Lexan product is impact resistant, but not very resistant to scratching or maintenance. Uh, with this, you don't have to worry about using paper towel, using Windex, or anything that would normally damage a plastic composite windscreen. Following that theme, we, we did a single Optima, Optima battery that uh, gave the ability to have more stowage and integrated a low voltage disconnect switch from Blue Seas so that we didn't have any fear of losing a, a battery power. As soon as you get to a, a low voltage situation, the system will automatically turn off the entire house, saving enough power to, to restart the motors, whether you forget to shut something off or Maybe the kid left the UBS charge port plugged in and the cell phone kills it. Uh, running your electronics, 
And of course it's easily overridden just by resetting the switch. The bottom of this boat is quarter inch plate. Uh, the sides on this particular hull are 3 16 and any of the console leaning post accessories are eighth inch. I, um, making for a solid boat that is not overkill but built well enough where if you did have a mishap with a dock, a rock, beach in the boat, uh, and certainly life of the boat and the expectancy of any corrosion uh, buys you into the next generation.